Hello everyone, did you know that your smartphones have hidden features that affect your privacy in general, but also in other ways? And they're not good for you, because if certain settings are enabled by default, you're allowing access to various apps, which ultimately exposes your location and the actions you take in certain apps. And the most interesting thing is, you won't believe where it's all located. It's in the Google Play Store. Yes, a lot of people use the Google Play Store because it's really convenient. There are both free and paid apps, but that's not what I'm talking about now. I'm going to talk about the hidden settings in the Google Play Store. Look, it's simple. When you buy a new smartphone, you sign into the Google Play Store with your account. Well, to download the apps you need. And, basically, you don't do anything else. But it's actually a good idea to review some settings that could harm your smartphone and your personal data. I'll tell you and show you everything now. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. So, look, to do this, you need to use the Google Play Store and then find your account in your avatar. It's usually located at the top right of the screen. Click it and then scroll down until you find the standard settings. Click it. So, let's take things a little step by step. Here we have certain settings, general settings, so to speak. Click the arrow on the right. And now the first thing we're interested in is the feature that lets you use apps without installing them. Yes, it sounds really cool, but this applies specifically to web apps. Imagine, when you're searching for something in browsers, some information, you often encounter some kind of ad. Suddenly, it pops up. And sometimes, you even accidentally click it and go to some website. Of course, we then go back, click the arrow to return or close it, and continue searching. But at that moment, an app could have launched, which, of course, primarily collects personal data. So, to prevent this from happening, of course, double check here. If you have this slider enabled, be sure to disable it, at least for your own protection. I do this setting on every smartphone, because it's primarily for your own safety, so you don't accidentally click something. If you have this slider disabled, and you even accidentally click somewhere, then at least it won't launch automatically on your smartphone, so be sure to double check this feature. Further down, there's a Google Play Reviews feature. You really want to receive fewer ads, then disable this slider so you don't get bothered by them. After using an app, or even just opening it, you'll be sent an ad within 5 minutes, asking you to leave a review. So, double check. Next, look at this slider. It's responsible for geolocation. It determines your location. So, even if your GPS isn't working, it's still secretly constantly monitoring your smartphone's location. Firstly, it drains your battery. Secondly, again, this concerns tracking, this concerns advertising. If you're near certain famous buildings or establishments, you'll be sent ads to your smartphone again, urging you to visit those specific establishments you've been near. Basically, turn this slider off. Next, look at the automatically archive app option. This slider is actually very useful. I also turn it on. It's usually off. So, what this slider does is, if for some reason you don't have enough space on your smartphone, to avoid deleting anything, Google Play automatically selects apps you rarely use and starts archiving them. So, roughly, if an app was 500 megabytes, it will become 200 or even 100. But it will still function on your smartphone, and you won't have to delete anything. Just in case, this setting is very useful. Next is app installation optimization. It's best to uncheck this slider. It's completely unnecessary. It doesn't provide any benefit to you personally. It automatically sends information to Google about which parts of the app you interact with. If you click more details here, then briefly, this is the very initial information that is entered into any app. For example, if it's a messenger, we enter a phone number and receive an SMS for registration. Sometimes we enter our email address and again, a password. If it's a fitness app, we can enter our height, weight, diet, and so on, that is, our year of birth. And all this initial information is, in fact, the most important. And why send such information to Google for some kind of analysis? Basically, you need to disable this so-called hidden tracking. And all the data that someone else receives, and app developers receive it, will never help you in any way. On the contrary, it will only drain your battery more quickly and slowly use up your internet. And if you have a paid plan, you'll be shocked at how many megabytes of your paid data are wasted every day, even though you're downloading absolutely nothing. Scroll down further. There you go. Find the About the App section. Click the arrow here. Another menu opens, and we're interested in the Google Play version. You'll see some numbers here. Again, ignore it, it doesn't matter. You need to quickly tap the Google Play version several times, about four to five times. Look, it says, no need, you're already a developer. In your case, it says, congratulations, you've become a developer. Scroll up and find the developer feature. Here it is. Click here. And now look, we'll see a toggle here. 
This is internal app access. You'll be able to download and install available test versions of apps. This is a very dangerous feature in that you could actually download an app that hasn't been tested. It could be an app with viruses. It could be an app designed to steal your data or even harm your smartphone. And not only that, it could be an unsafe app. Of course, you should understand that this may or may not be the case. But look, if I disable and then re-enable this toggle, it says here that Google Play bears no responsibility for such apps. And, accordingly, they haven't undergone any testing. And with these hidden settings, these hidden switches, the developers themselves absolve themselves of responsibility. And even if something happens, for example, you downloaded an app that caused you harm, you won't be able to prove anything to anyone because you had these settings enabled. Of course, check, it's better to disable this slider and be safer. Now let's go back so you don't get confused. Here are more connection settings. And, by the way, you can also disable automatic app updates here. I personally use it, and I have it disabled. Check for yourself whether you need this or not. So, when you have it set to automatic, you receive absolutely all updates without your knowledge. So, you decide to update the app yourself, and as soon as you have some internet connection, the update starts. On the one hand, this is good, but on the other hand, Firstly, you may have a paid internet connection. And, for example, you're saving your data, but then an update arrives and starts downloading, and you lose your data. Secondly, it's not always a good thing when something updates in an app. First, the app might perform worse. First, the interface will likely change, and you might, for example, get used to the old interface, but after switching to the new interface, it might feel strange and you'll stop using the app, or features you absolutely don't need might change dramatically. It also happens that some updates are really buggy, really glitchy, and the phone starts to perform poorly. With this setting, you can control the update yourself. Before installing, you can even read what exactly has been updated and whether you need it or not. Where do you find it now if you've enabled this feature? Look, go to your avatar and then go to manage. And here, look, there are 106 updates available. That means 106 apps can be updated. And here are the apps, where I can click and read which app to update and whether it's worth updating or not. But all these apps, they worked and will continue to work. So, on the one hand, this is a good setting, even in terms of battery saving, because every app on your phone contacts its own servers two or three times a day to determine whether it needs an update. That is, whether there's any new information available. And this constant data exchange, of course, uses up your internet traffic and, in turn, drains your battery. If you disable this setting, the savings will be noticeable, at the very least. So, look at what's useful next. Here you can also tap, manage. Then tap, this device. And at the very bottom, you'll see, not installed. Look, you'll be very surprised. These are all the apps you've ever downloaded to your smartphone. So, imagine this situation. You go to Google Play Market, you like an image, you like the name of the app, you download it and open it, you immediately dislike it, and you delete it. But in reality, you didn't completely delete it. Google Play Store is storing all these apps. Firstly, it's partially using up your memory. Secondly, imagine how many of these apps you've installed and deleted over time. In some cases, there could be 1,000, 2,000, or even 3,000 of them. I'll tell you that you need to double check them and, of course, delete them. Do you know why? Firstly, you'll free up memory. Secondly, every app is advertised by Google Play Store. If you delete it, you might later notice. A message or an ad for the specific app you've already deleted, supposedly pushing it on you to install it because it's so cool. And if you've deleted a lot of these apps, imagine each one trying to push this kind of ad on you. Your phone is getting really clogged up with junk, useless junk that's wasting your internet and draining your battery. So, of course, we'll go through all these steps and just delete them. Again, you can double check. These are the apps you've already deleted. Your smartphone doesn't have any of these apps. Some people will have a lot of them while others will have very few. So, of course, take the time to do all this. Click, delete, here and delete them without hesitation. Your phone will run much faster, more responsive, and there will be fewer ads. 